Hi everyone. Some connectors, especially those coming from the community, do not have ingestion capabilities. So you cannot run the ingestion wizard to start ingesting um, thread feeds. So in this video, we'll see how to create a custom uh, ingestion uh, playbook, which will do uh, just that. Uh, we will use uh, Alien Vault RTX for this uh, specific case. So to start with, let's start with an existing uh, playbook, which does uh, fetch the um, the indicators in this case uh, IP indicators from the uh, cyber threat intelligence just to see what kind of data we're getting from uh, from the service and then based on that we'll see how to uh, write this data down on um, on the threat threat intelligence feed uh, module we should have right here a sample that we can use for for our case so these are the available the available fields so we have a description the indicator itself a title and type and a name all right so we can maybe just copy this quickly to be used uh, as a reference so we can stick it maybe in a uh, right here all right so these are the fields that we'll be using a bit later and now we can jump right into uh, the playbook and it has to be modified a little bit so uh, it will write um, threat threat feeds instead of uh, indicators which is the case here so uh, here to write indicators it's using a reference playbook so we'll open that reference and we will modify it a little bit so here, this is request indicators uh, page. Let's open the playbook right here. This playbook creates indicators. Uh, what we need is actually thread feeds. So we can start by adding a new step, create record. So we call it create threat intel feed. And then we select the threat intel feed from the modules and now we need to populate the different attributes of this um, module with uh, the data we get from um, from the parent playbook so this is the structure of the data uh, we have the indicator value we have the type and name and description right here that we'll be using right so the value is uh, indicator but right before that we need to iterate over the list of responses and then uh, add each individual uh, entry uh, one by one so this is the list we will create a loop which will be the source of uh, of our data we can have an uh, we can add a um, a sort of um, a control to make sure that uh, this step will only be uh, executed if uh, the list is not empty so we can add a condition and say right so this only works if the length of this list is more than zero right so what uh, we have the value that's the very first one so we have vars item and then uh, description i believe or no indicator right so this is var item is the individual item which is iterated uh, whenever uh, the playbook goes through the goes through this list so vars item uh, indicator that's one we have also the type so the type we already know this is this is an ip address so we set the type to ipv4 address or ip address simply because it could be also uh, ipv6 we have a description and then we have a title right so a description and title will add them as tags so we can uh, select here uh, tags where are tags or labels right so we have labels here and we can add them as uh, labels so we have uh, title add it just like this and then we'll fix it later and then we have uh, no, actually, description. We have a um, we have a field called description, so it makes more sense. Yeah, it makes more sense to add it as a to add the description as a, as a field. So we have a description. So the uh, individual uh, item would be vars item 
description so virus item description right and the rest will would be added as uh, the rest would be added as labels so let's go to our labels we have the title here so the the type of this field is obviously uh, json so we have to respect the uh, json uh, syntax so we have title right here right and let's see if there is any other field that we can add uh, name probably so in this specific record these uh, values are empty but we have a, hu a huge list and we keep on ingesting these lists and um, some of them are uh, most likely uh, populated so we, we we need to cater for that right so let's add the uh, second uh, field which is uh, name so we have name right here and we don't need a comma it's the last uh, last entry of the dictionary and that's pretty much all okay now this is a threat feed so we already know this is uh, the reputation of this uh, of this uh, record is malicious and the last step would be to populate the source data which is basically the whole uh, json dictionary that we have from um, that we have from um, uh, from our uh, list and the item would be called wars item and that's it so it will hold all the different keys that uh, we receive in the um, in the feed and one more thing the uh, uniqueness setting uh, we have to set it to update the uh, record if new data uh, comes or new attributes comes for uh, that specific um, uh, that specific uh, thread feed uh, entry right so this should be uh, all we can save it here maybe arrange it a little bit we don't need this part so this will be deleted and we'll be ready to test the uh, to test the playbook so we will run it from the parent obviously which will call this uh, referenced playbook so let's run it here and and by now we should have the uh, thread feed records in our uh, thread intel uh, management there you go so here are uh, our records all right and that should be all for uh, for this one